Hey guys, it's Allison. I hope you're having a super happy day so far. So today I'm sharing my most requested video and I get comments on this all the time and that is how I edit my Instagram photos. But before I share some tips, I just want to remind you that social media is crazy. I mean, I for one love it and think there are so many opportunities and ways to get inspired from it, but it also is really easy to get caught up in comparison and really just feel badly because it is such a highlight reel and it's so easy to see people's best moments and then look at your worst moments and uh, just get all caught up in that comparison. But I really, really want to remind you that you are so beautiful just the way you are and you are not defined by the number of likes you get or the number of uh, followers you have. That has no indication of how incredible you are. So please just remember that. But without further ado, here's how I edit my Instagram photos. Okay, first things first, this is my Instagram. As you can see, it's super colorful and bright and happy. So if you're definitely into the more minimalistic, um, muted tone or Instagram theme, this video might not be for you. But if you are into those happy, bright colors, you'll definitely want to stick around. So first, I want to share with you the apps that I use the most. I definitely use Visco like everyone else in the world. I also use PixFX and Aviary. And I actually still use Visco to plan out my feed. I know a lot of people don't like it anymore after their update because it has white borders between the photos, but it actually doesn't bother me too much. So today I'm going to show you how to edit three different kinds of photos. A photo of me with a latte, a photo of <laughs> Rapunzel's lanterns, and some food. First, let's start with the photo of moi with a little cappuccino. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it into aviary and I'm actually going to edit the eyeshadow that's on my eyelashes because that is really bothering me. I'm actually just going to use the blur tool and kind of get rid of all that. Sometimes it takes me a couple tries to make it look natural and not like a totally blurred eye. Then I just save it to my camera roll and now I'm going to export it into Visco. When I'm in Visco, I typically do not use the filters ever, really. I actually just go straight to the tool section. In the tools section, the very first thing I do every single time is expose. I always brighten it up a little bit, actually more like a lot. And then I always go to saturate next and bring out all those fun colors. And third, I go to sharpen to really just make the photograph super crisp and high quality. Sometimes I play with the other tools too, like temperature or highlights and shadows to kind of just see what it does. But that really, really changes every single time for every single photograph. But I definitely would say that to get that really bright and colorful look, you'll want to do ESS, Expose, Saturate, and Sharpen. So as you can see, there's definitely quite a difference in the two photographs, the before and after. And now I'm just going to crop it a little bit to get it all ready for Instagram. Next, let's edit the lanterns. So I'm going to go straight to Visco with the lanterns. And any guesses what I'm gonna do? I guess I'm gonna crop first. Now 
and then I am going to expose and then I'm going to saturate a whole bunch because there's so many fun colors in this photograph that I'm just gonna bring them all out to party and then sharpen I'm also gonna play with the highlights and shadows a little bit Next, I'm going to head to Pix FX, and one of my favorite filters in this app is PFX5, but this time I really just looked at all the different filters because since the lantern picture is so colorful and so fun to kind of manipulate, um, I actually used a different filter this time, so it's really all about experimenting with what you think looks the best. Now finally, I am going to import the acai bowl picture into Visco Cam, and the first thing I'm going to do is crop it to make it fit in Instagram, and then I'm going to expose ESS, and then saturate a little bit, and then, you guessed it, I'm going to sharpen. And as you can see, I tried out the highlights, didn't like it, tried out the shadows, and I did like it, and it really just changes every single time. So there you have it. There's the three photographs, and I'll just post it on Instagram. Sometimes I even edit a little bit in the Instagram app as well. I'll add even more exposure, sharpen even more, and maybe sometimes play with the temperature as well. So that is it. It's truly as simple as that. You can remember my little acronym, ESS, Expose, Saturate, and Sharpen. And that will make your pictures bright, colorful, but remember it starts with just a solid photograph and just some imagination. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you follow me on Instagram so we can connect and I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day guys. Bye. Thank you.